I'll do number six, because I haven't done this in a long time, and I'm, I'm having fun right now. So, this is a true story about my life. Seriously. A true story about my life. True story. <laughs> You know, I was a kid from North Carolina, and stuff. so I was playing in my mother's closet, in my father's closet, and my father had a baseball glove and a, a, a thing and whatever, and those magazines were like Playgirl, Playboy, Next Magazine, Daddy had Next Magazine, so I put a match in the closet, ran outside, and I crossed my legs and looked at this big beautiful Victorian house catching on fire, and I thought to myself, is that all there is? Oh. Sherry Wine in that apartment, 
She had this man that was fucking her all the time. And I was in the living room, sleeping in the living room, and early in the morning I went to the bathroom, and there was a condom lying on top of the toilet area. And it was filled with sperm, literally like half filled with sperm. And these little brown dots on it. Can look like rum raisin. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh my God. And I didn't say anything. I actually said to them. I'm sorry, am I getting gross, guys? <laughs> you couldn't be any gross than the cherry bomb. Oh, okay. <laughs> the more, the more, no, worse than the cherry was a rum raisin and... Um, um, I'm going to use that one on her. Yeah, please, use that one on her. Do you, John, do you see yeah. cherry bomb a lot? Please remember that story when she says rum raisin, she's going to go like, what? Watch. <laughs> the glassy lips are going to get real glassy. Oh well, my God, what a Joey. Watch. Trust. And she does, but I got better ones on her. Oh, cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah sure exactly. Because she pretends, at least, no, she pretends like she's all like, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you do it exactly. That's exactly that's where she got it from. I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I was wondering where I got that, because I was doing that, and I kept thinking, well, how did, where did that come from? And Basil said, did you guys see Aries the Twist? Yes. Well, there's, at the end, there's a song, you know, uh, My aunt was told me that I was run out of my head, the way it was running. It's called Twisted by uh, Annie, Annie Ross, but it was really fast. My aunt was that's what I made, but at the end, I'm going, <laughs> that's where I got that from. So one day I was walking around in Paris going, <laughs> And then Sherry heard me and she was like, what's that from? I was like, I don't know, anyway, that's what she's still she's still off. She stole it from you. Mm. That's okay. <laughs> we all steal from each other. Mm. I think she stole more from you though. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is all on tape as well. Oh, well. Okay. Let it all hang out. I know, I know, but, but no, no, Sherry Vine has truly inspired me to do more. The bro no, I love Sherry. She's a total inspiration. I love her so much. I love her so much. And she loves you. No, she always talks very highly. Yes, I love so, no, but see, but it, it's like I, there's no way I could hassle you because I've got way too much respect, and because I have so much respect for Sherry, I have to hassle her, like, even, even if she's not here. But come for me though. It's okay. No, how could I possibly, darling? Charlie, you having fun? That is that okay? A little bit. You want another song? You want some more singing? Okay. But on that note, why don't we? Do this, I think he was saying, shut up and sing. <laughs> <laughs> why don't we do track number four? Now, before you end, let me say something.